Good morning guys! Welcome to another video. This video is going to be a what I eat in a day, but it's going to be a little bit different. And then I'm going to recall my mistakes from the past so you won't do the same. So what I really enjoy first thing in the morning is cold lemon water. Where it goes Driving through days and nights Cheers! And I know people tell you, you have to have hot lemon water in the morning. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't work for me. I don't like it. Um, I don't really have a morning routine. I'm not a coffee drinker. I don't drink tea. So cold lemon water is perfect for me to hydrate in the morning. Off to be lives now. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high That was fun! Oh my god, I haven't been to Reformer Pilates I think in seven months or longer than last December and I can, I'm already feeling sore <laughs> um, and actually I wanted to go home now and cook something but I'm so hungry it's 10 a.m. already so I'm just gonna get it X Benedict now. But I'll have lunch and dinner at home, I swear. But let's get some X Benedict now. And we're gonna answer my most asked questions. I'll set it all aside. Weather is beautiful in London, you should appreciate that. Thank you. We know what we have, let's hold on tight. Okay. So I ordered an orange juice. I'm so hungry. I think I get eggs benedict but on bacon and I'll add some smashed avocado on the side. That's perfect. That is perfect! Oh. My food arrived! Mm. Orange juice. Okay. Let's see, what questions do we have? First one, intermittent fasting. Something I don't do and I've never done. And I can imagine if a healthy person needs some kind of like structure in their eating life, it may be very helpful. But for me, a person that has been on diets for almost a decade, intermittent fasting is just super toxic because I would deprive myself I would not allow myself to eat whenever I want let's say I would eat only in a time window between 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. what if I'm hungry at 9 a.m. in the morning that would be deprivation so I personally would not suggest intermittent fasting especially for people that are already in like diet struggles so no I didn't do intermittent fasting and I would not recommend it what is a natural calorie deficit? I came up with the term. I don't know if it already exists, but um, it just makes the most sense for me. So a natural calorie deficit is obviously, I wasn't calorie deficit when I lost the weight. By natural, I mean that it came naturally, that I didn't restrict myself of any food or anything like that. And I created a natu natural calorie deficit by having a big breakfast so I would have like enough energy and I would be satisfied and full until early afternoon then I would have a big lunch and that would satisfy me for another five hours or six hours and then naturally for dinner I would only want to have something small or something light but it came naturally because I gave my body enough energy in the morning and for the day, you know? That's a natural calorie deficit. Like being in a calorie deficit by you eating enough during the day so you won't be that hungry at night anymore. So how do I eat so many carbs and still have a flat stomach? I think society created a complete false picture of what carbs, fat and protein does to your body. I'm not a nutritionist, this is just experience. 
first of all forget that carbs are bad or that fat is bad or that protein is bad whatever the all those diets tell you you know like like a high carb diet a vegan high carb diet tells you that fat is bad they don't eat oil they only if they eat fat they only do avocado like a keto diet uh, would tell you that bread is bad and that cake is bad and da 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 and a gluten-free person will tell you that gluten will make you fat blah 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 <laughs> eventually it's your body and you have to find your way i found my way and that contains fat that it contains oil that contains cake and bread full of gluten and pasta full of gluten And the last question um, I get asked so many times. The funny thing is that I see myself in that question. Like people, especially on TikTok, or when I share those transformation videos, they always ask, how long did it take you? How long did it take you? I see where this is coming from because I was like that. I wanted to plan, I wanted to calculate, I wanted to be sure that I'll look a certain way by X date. When I stopped doing that, I lost weight. I accepted that it will take me at least two or three months. Like four months compared to 10 years of struggling is nothing. Take your time and just start your journey. And in three months, you'll be on a different, in a different place, you know, and um, you won't even look back anymore. I would always deprive myself and try to eat the less as possible and um, would then end up binge eating and now I just created food freedom and eat whatever I want how much I want and whenever I want like there's not a single rule I'm following my hair looks so beautiful not I think I mean I'm I'm working from home all day today but maybe for dinner I'm having a date with myself at home and I'll just get a little prettier. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I was eating just a little during the day and then end up overeating at night. I now eat for energy and not to lose weight or stay in shape anymore. I give my body what it needs and therefore I have no cravings at night and that prevents binge eating. I'll get some more. I get the rest. It's just too good. Every moment Let me check. Yeah, I bought salmon. So I will just make a salad from my ebook. Okay, so the dressing is juice of half a lemon, some olive oil, not too much though because the salmon is quite fatty and then I get headaches. <laughs> Celtic sea salt. In the past, I was like scared of salt. I didn't want to eat too much salt because I was afraid of water retention. I mean, that's what you read on the internet, right? That's what so many people do. Now I eat so much salt and... But high quality salt, you know? And peppy! The nuts, not many actually, but we should put in more. Okay, now the dressing is ready, the apple. This is such a nice salad, seriously, you have to try it out. The warm pecan nuts, oh my god, they smell so good, I should smell this. The most important part, the avocado. Mmm, that's so good. I have, I think I have at least half of one avocado every day. In the past I was scared, so I would never have more than like a quarter of avocado per day. And now I really don't care. And that way, since I don't care anymore, since I don't deprive myself anymore, and restrict on things, I don't have cravings. I mean, of course I overcame like the binges and everything, I worked on that, but not restricting and not being on diets made everything so much easier, you know? So let me show you. I know, just eating what you like without following any plan or rules may seem so scary. But once I created food freedom, I naturally ate less compared to always giving in my cravings 
and binge eating. I will be eating in privacy now. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. You learned something and subscribe for next week's episode because I'm going to do the same concept but with um, working out. Then I'm going to take you on a weekly exercise routine and will recall workout mistakes I've done in the past. What I do now differently and I'm going to share what really worked for me. So make sure to subscribe. See you then. Bye.